Today, the U.S. Navy revealed a futuristic weapon that has been under secret development for years. David Martin has the first look at the electromagnetic railgun. The phrase, faster than a speeding bullet, just took on a whole new meaning. Burn. An electromagnetic railgun is a gun that uses just electricity, no gunpowder, and oh, by the way, can shoot a projectile like this well over 100 miles at Mach 7. Seven times the speed of sound. Seven times the speed of sound. Rear Admiral Matthew Plunder is the chief of naval research which developed the rail gun. That chunky object is the projectile. An electromagnetic pulse propels it down the barrel, creating a fireball of molten steel. The projectile sheds its steel cladding, and in video release for the first time today, it smashes into a dummy warhead that represents an incoming missile. The explosion is caused by the sheer force of the impact. This is a lab gun, and it shoots a slug about this big. So think about that, a slug that big. A slug that big going Mach 7 puts a hole through six half-inch steel plates this big. Just this little slug. Went through all of these. All six of those. There's not a thing in the sky that's going to survive against that. In this shot, what's officially called the hypervelocity projectile goes through three reinforced concrete walls. The Navy already has missiles that perform the same feats, but they cost millions of dollars each. This costs right here about $25,000. Both the cost and size, it weighs 23 pounds, mean they can be bought and stored aboard ship by the hundreds. Someone may be sending a multi-million dollar missile at us, and I'm going to take it out with a $25,000 projectile round. I'll take that trade every single day. But not so fast. The first railgun won't go to sea until 2016, and then only aboard a cargo vessel for testing. It will be the end of the decade before the railgun appears on warships. David Martin, CBS News at the Naval Research Laboratory.